Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 6th of 2021. Well, it is titled a distorted sunrise eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, this is the sun rising, but certainly doesn't look like what we're used to seeing the big ball of the sun rising. In this case, the sun is rising while it is partially eclipsed. And what we see there is the sun very distorted right close, very close to the horizon. And that is because when we look at the horizon, we're looking through the maximum amount of atmosphere and leaves the most distortions and also makes things appear the most red. So why does the sun appear so red? And that is because the we're looking through so much atmosphere that all of the shorter wavelengths of light have been scattered out and the only things that can make it straight through are the very longest wavelengths the deep red color now the crescent portion is because that dark part above it is actually our moon and our moon is directly in front of part of the sun blocking out its light and keeping it from getting to earth now this is an example of a a solar eclipse and we can have a couple different kinds of solar eclipse. This one was from 2019 and it is an example this case we're seeing a partial solar eclipse where just a part of the sun is being dropped blocked out. Now that is the most common type that we see because you can see it from a much wider area of the Earth. In order to see a total eclipse when the sun is completely blocked out, you have to be in the right area on Earth to be able to see it. And the one we eclipse we have coming up in just a few days on June the 10th will be what we call an annular eclipse. An annular eclipse with annular meaning annulus or ring means that the moon is a little bit further away at the time of eclipse and cannot quite completely block out the sun. So even if it lines up perfectly as it will for portions of Canada uh, here the coming up this uh, in a few days, then it will still be a ring of sunlight around the edge of the moon in what we call an annular eclipse. Other parts of Canada and the northeastern part of the United States will be able to see the sun rising partially eclipsed. So we will have a chance to be able to see this. You'll see a site much like this. If you happen to be in the northeastern portion of the United States, a chance to watch the sun rise and for the first 45 minutes or so after sunrise, uh, depending on your precise location, you will be able to see the sun rising here. Of course, you will have to have a clear view of the northwest horizon because by the time the sun gets reasonably high in the sky the eclipse will be over and you will no longer be able to see this you will just see the sun rising as normal so if you if you're out early in the morning before sunrise and watch the sunrise on june the 10th you have a chance to see a sight somewhat like what we're seeing here today so that was our picture of the day for June the 6th of 2021. It was titled A Distorted Sunrise Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.